Heading to our Washington newsroom where the White House is defending its 2020 budget proposals before Congress. The budget calls for sharp cuts to domestic programs and major increases in defense spending. CBS 42 Washington correspondent Mark Meredith tonight with the battle brewing. House remarks. Democrats grilled well, President Trump's today, acting budget director over plans to cut spending on domestic programs while spending more on defense and border security. When you look at the budget the Trump administration has produced, it is not responsible or even usable. Kentucky Congressman John Yarmuth says proposed cuts to education, health care and welfare programs would be devastating to millions. The White House says the cuts are necessary to rein in spending. No agency can spend well when they don't live in a resource constrained world. Texas Congressman Lloyd Doggett says the White House is also sending mixed messages, claiming it wants to improve infrastructure but refusing to spend the money. I don't see how cutting the transportation budget by 20 percent is going to get people out of the gridlock that we have all over the country. Congressional Democrats have come out united against the budget proposal. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is encouraging Americans who depend on entitlement programs like Medicare to speak out. This budget says promises kept. Balderdash. For their part, congressional Republicans are embracing the president's plan. Our nation is nearing a fiscal crisis. I would argue we're already in one. Republicans agree that we need to remain focused on important goals like the continued rebuilding of our military, keeping up the fight against opioid abuse. Congress has until the end of September to pass a funding bill for next year. In Washington, I'm Mark Meredith, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.